Okay, I'm going to look at 18 and 19 here. Number 18 says the graph of a quadratic function, f of x, intersects the x-axis at negative 3 and positive 5. What is a possible equation for f of x? So this kind of requires you to work backwards, okay? What they're telling you is it intersects the x-axis at negative 3 and 5. So in other words, it has x-intercepts at negative 3 and positive 5. Okay, and when you know what the x-intercepts are, then you know this, that the solutions are x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. So what this is going to be is this is kind of going to be working backwards. If x equals negative 3 and x equals 5 are the solutions, then x plus 3 would add up to 0 and x minus 5 would add up to 0. And this is working backwards now, okay? And I'm going to say if x plus 3 equals 0 and x minus, or x minus 5 equals 0, then I can say x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0, and that is my equation here. Okay, this is pretty deep thinking, but the idea, again, is that if, if you know the graph intersects the x-axis at negative 3 and 5, then you know that the equation, okay, equation for this must have solutions x equals negative 3, and x equals 5. And so this is an equation, okay, right here. This is an equation that has solutions of x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. And so I think they would let you put this in, x plus 3 times x minus 5. You could also multiply that out and simplify it and say x squared minus 2x minus 15. That would be fine, but let's just check this. If we go ahead and graph um, x plus 3 times x minus 5 using our technology, if you're not sure, if you think you remember and you think you're doing it right, go check it. x plus 3 times x minus 5. If I go to this calculator and we reset it, and I go here and I'm going to put x plus 3 and then x minus 5. Okay, if I put that in here, let's look at the graph. Okay, I can see it if I zoom out just a little here, then sure enough, let me zoom back in there. Okay, sure enough, when that equation is graphed, it has intercepts at negative 3 and positive 5. All right, so that's good confirmation right there. We can even go ahead instead of using the factored form, we could write um, x squared minus 2x minus 15. That was the other version that we said should work. And if we graph this, again, same thing. Okay, intercepts at negative 3 on the x-axis and positive 5. So that is a higher level thinking question for sure. But, but the idea is that this test is assessing whether you have made the connection that the x-intercepts of the graph um, are the solutions to the equation. The solutions will show up as the x-intercepts. All right, look at number 19. Select all of the points that are contained in the graph of this equation. Um, there's a, the, the, the calculator and looking at the graph is probably not real helpful here. Really, what you need to do is test each, test each, Okay, so grab a calculator and let's ch check this out. One half times zero plus three fourths. 
Okay, what's that going to equal? That's going to equal, when we put a 0 in for x, we get 3 fourths for y. All right, so that one's a no. Okay, if I put 0 in for x, I do, do not get 3 fourths for y. Okay, but this next one is a yes. If I put 0 in for x, sure enough, I get 3 fourths for y. So the reason it didn't work in the last one is the reason it does work here. So this is a yes. Um, if I put 3 fourths in for x, so 1 half times 3 fourths plus 3 fourths. Let's see what this equals. Does it equal 0? It is not going to equal 0. Let's see. 1 half times 3 fourths is 3 sixths. That's 1 half plus 3 fourths is 1.25. Let's see. It equals 5 fourths. Oh, it's been a long day. Let's see. 0 0.5 times 0.75 plus 0 0.75. 1.125. All right, I'm just going to go with that. So that one is a no. When I put 3 fourths in for x, I do not get 0 for y. Okay. When I put 3 fourths in for x, I also don't get 1 half. Okay. I just did that. So let's put 1 half in for x. So we get 1 half times 1 half plus 3 fourths. Okay. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. And 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is 1. So when x is 1 half, y equals 1. And so this one is a yes. So there are some samples for how you could approach numbers 18 and 19.